Hey, Kenneth Russell here. Today I'm gonna to talk about different pro audio connectors that you might use. If you're doing anything in music, anything in sound, you need to be very well versed with the, the terms that are used on different types of cables. Okay, so we'll start with our, our most basic one. This is your instrument cable, and this is technically called a quarter inch cable. So it's one fourth inch here, and this is your, your male end, okay? For guitar players, this is what most everything is going to connect with. You have your, your male end, here's a little effects pedal, and it goes into the female side of it. So th these happen all over the place. This is the same thing that's going to plug into your guitar. It goes in here to a mixer. It's going to be the same, same plugs. So this is your instrument cable and quarter inch cable. Okay. Now, moving right along, we've got our second most common cable, which is called the XLR cable. This is, a lot of times people will just call this a microphone cable. And it's got three little pins here on the male side and three little slots on the female side. And this is what's gonna go into your microphones. This is what's gonna connect them for that. And then the other side is gonna plug into your uh, mixer or your snake or whatever you're going to. So this is a lot of times the microphone cable. So XLR equals microphone cable. You can use actually both of these for a lot of different things. Uh, XLR cables are used even for, for lights sometimes. So your quarter inch and your XLR cables. Moving right along, we've got the, the mini jack. And this is probably what you're most familiar with. It's basically just a headphone jack. You know, so the headphone jack to your iPod or whatever, that's what this is. One thing really quick in dealing with cables, cables can be either mono or stereo. Mono mean, meaning it's sending one signal, Stereo mean it's sending two signals. So your typical mini jack for your headphones is stereo because you're hearing stereo inputs. They also make uh, mono ones as well. And the way, the way you can tell the difference is a stereo jack will always have two lines on it and a mono jack will have one line on it. And uh, that's just, it's just that line allows it to separate the signal. So sometimes you'll see this on quarter inch cables as well. You'll have your stereo with the two lines as opposed to the one line for the mono quarter inch cable. For quarter inch cables, mono is more common than anything. Now I'm gonna get to a little bit more of some kind of obscure uh, things you run across. This is called a speak on connector. It twists in and it locks in to your amplifier or whatever it's used for. Usually, these are used in amplifiers like power amps um, and speakers. And so sometimes you might have like a bass amp that you can add an external cabinet to, and this will be the connector that'll, that you'll use. Or if you've got your, like your subwoofer and then your, uh, your main speakers on top of that, they might be connected together with a speak on connector. And uh, also this is called a Nutrix connector. I think that's the, the brand name, Nutrix, and then like the generic name is speak on. But uh, these are a great connector because they lock in. You can't, you can't unplug them. And this is actually just an adapter that I have for uh, just a quarter inch cable to go into because this mixer here has speak on outs in the back, but all my cables are quarter inch. I, don't, I didn't want to invest in additional just speak on cables. So anyway, there's the speak on. All right, this next connector is an RCA connector and you're probably pretty familiar with this. Uh, if you have or plugged up a TV where it's got like the yellow, the white and the red connectors, that's, those are RCA connectors. This is a splitter that goes from you know, mini jack to the RCA. And so you'll see you, know, you can plug it in to these right here. And then you can plug up your, your iPhone or whatever, your MP3 player to that. So there's your RCA connectors. This is the male and these are the females. And then there's more connectors than this, but these are the ones I'm gonna cover. But finally, you've got your, your MIDI cable. And this is, a lot of times you'll see it on the back of equipment like this the MIDI cable plugs into and basically it's just it's a five pin connector that gives digital signal and so keyboards can like talk to each other digitally some guitar effects can talk to each other digitally to wrap it up you got your quarter inch cable your XLR cable your mini jack speak on RCA and MIDI cable so hopefully it's helpful to you and uh, Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. If you have any questions, write them down below. I'll do my best to answer them.